Hey guys, it's Whips here, back with another video, and today we're going to be looking at 10 features that could possibly be added to Sea of Thieves, and we're also going to be looking at how they could benefit the game. But real quick here, 95% of you guys are not subscribed. If you guys could subscribe, it would mean the world to me. But without further ado, let's get right into this video. Now, despite Sea of Thieves being known for its amazing content updates and really listening to the community, you know, we all like to be a little bit picky and sort of throw in our opinions as to what should be added and what possibly could be added. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, at our number one spot, or number 10 spot, I should say, sorry, I really want to talk about rope swinging. I feel like this is absolutely possible. I feel like this would be amazing. Basically, it's going to do what the cannons can't do. So if you're really, really close to a ship, you know, a sword launch is super useful here, simply just diving in the water, hoping to grab that ladder. But I feel like rope swinging could really do this. It would reduce how far you would go. And also, let's say you're just a quest lord and, you know, there's a, a chest that you have to get up on a mountain. Well, instead of cannoning, taking damage, that would be a little hard. The aim especially. Now you can just rope swing up there. It's going to be super easy. So this would really impact PvP, PvE, and I feel like this feature could definitely get added to the game. And you're a pirate, you know, you want this added to the game. And next up at our number nine spot, what's more annoying than a mermaid popping when you're trying to tuck, blowing your cover? Nobody likes this. So in my opinion, why not add a conch shell to the game, a call-in system, where basically, let's say you're on a tucked ship and your mermaid pops. Well, instead of this, let's say abandoned ship, you need to get your mermaid. Oh, let me pull out my conch shell and call my mermaid instead of that automatically popping. So basically my thought process here is, hey, let's say the ship's going down. I need to call my mermaid. I'll do that. Hey, I'm tucking on a ship. I don't want my mermaid. I don't need to call it in. So where would this go well I, I could see this over by your banjo or by your shovel somewhere in your inventory where basically it's not gonna be hard for new players to pick up on the only problem with this feature is it really only impacts pvp and obviously a lot of people really like that mermaid because you know if you're on an island fighting skeletons you can now see if someone is near your ship and next up at our number seven spot, why not add some variety of sharks to this game? Why not add some hammerhead sharks? Why not? It's super easy, you would think. I believe they actually had a Sea of Thieves book where these were in there. So they've already pretty much programmed these, not programmed, but already drew them, designed them. Why not make them, add them to the game? Also to add on, because those don't really do anything other than just looks, why not add a dolphin where maybe in the water it gives you a boost? Maybe this is a good encounter that you can come across, and I feel like this would really help out the game. Now at our number 6 spot, I want you to imagine the Reaper's Mark. Now this is basically like putting a bounty on yourself. However, I feel like they should add a bounty board to Sea of Thieves, where basically you go to this bounty board and you can buy a bounty. Now from here, it's going to circle a ship on the server, and you have a certain amount of time to go and sink this ship. Now, I don't really know how far these ships would have to be, or the time limit, because obviously you could just run the whole time, but I feel like making this fair, and obviously something to avoid the running is making a sort of red sea around you but that's basically like doing the pvp update so this is really something that we could really build off of but i feel like in a very early version a bounty version of the game could look very very cool and just another aspect of pvp so you could definitely see this in the future but i feel like this could really help out the game now real quick here, just another feature I think could really benefit the game is actually jewelry. Now this is just another form of customization, another way that you can really make your pirate feel like it's you. And I feel like we've already seen this with certain costumes where you have jewelry. And I feel like jewelry really wouldn't be that hard to add to the game. And like I said, just another form of customization that a lot of people would love to see. I've talked to you guys and you guys also want to see this. So I think jewelry would be an awesome feature to add. And finishing up one of our main cosmetic base features, I really want to talk about a scroll wheel for curses. So basically, let's look at the gold curse, for example. A long time ago, you know, it was random and everybody had a different looking gold curse, which is super cool. But basically what would happen is some people would have a really, really cool looking curse and some people would have a really simple and just a finger curse where you really couldn't see anything. So basically... Why not add a scroll wheel? You know, instead of everyone having the same curse, this could be on all curses, you know, the Ashen curse. Make a scroll wheel. One, you're barely fire, you're barely gold, and at 100, you know, your whole body is going to be this. So you can really kind of customize your character and make it look how you want it to look. Next up, I want to talk about something that would really impact the game, and this is a massive suggestion, and I really feel like they should add this. And this is basically the feature of whirlpools. Now, other than beasts, other players, and skeletons, there's no fear of, of steering and being on the seas, you know what I mean? There's no fear there other than like a storm. So why not add in the whirlpool? And I feel like the special feature this could really target is the driver. No one wants to be the driver, and it's a very big skill in Sea of Thieves. So make this where you're in it, you have to steer different ways to get out of this. And I feel like this would just really skill people in 
being a driver and it would make you want to be one this is an absolutely must have feature in my opinion we've seen this in so many movies where whirlpools are just the coolest thing and they're just not a thing on the sea of thieves and i feel like really targeting where the driver specifically this is a driver led event this would be absolutely amazing trying to steer out of this imagine a fight in this it would be so cool and i really think they should add this feature Something else I would need a lot of work is actually the ability to take people as prisoner. Now, I think this is really cool, but obviously you'd have to have some sort of timer so people can't just trap you in here at all times. Maybe like a five-minute timer. Maybe if another crew comes, maybe you can actually, you know, knock these guys out and, and possibly chain them up and, and take them as prisoner. I just think this would be super cool. Just kind of another aspect. It wouldn't really be that big of a feature, but I just think it would be super cool and just super unique and just, once again, add that pirate feel. Next up, this is actually going to be just stopping alliance servers, and I think this is really simple. Just making it so there's only three ships per alliance, I feel like this is really fair. I don't even know how it's fun to just have six ships in an alliance. There's absolutely no threat, and at that point, you're not even playing the game. So personally, I feel like adding three ships to an alliance is more than enough, and I feel like it just really makes the game more fun that way. And it really, like I said, it makes the game how it's supposed to be played. Next up, the moment you've all been waiting for, our number one spot. I feel like the number one feature that should be added to Sea of Thieves is a King of the Hill type event, and this would be a great use for the Arena Tavern. Basically, every couple hours, maybe there is a King of the Hill event, and whoever, whatever crew captures this is going to get an absurd amount of loot. Basically, this has taken a lot of inspiration from Minecraft factions. I remember every hour, which I don't feel like it should be this common, but at every hour, there's a loot pool. Whoever claimed it would get in a bunch of loot, and I feel like that's how Sea of Thieves should be, and it's really keeping the nature of pvp for the arena the sea dog so i feel like this is a great feature that should be added and it really would be simple you know what i mean and i feel like a lot of people would use it if you don't want to go to it you don't if you want to you can so go claim it and i feel like it would be a great feature but with that that is gonna be the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching this video made an absolutely ridiculous amount of time to make so thank you guys so much it really means the world to me if you're actually watching this point make sure you guys let me know in the comments though what do you guys think of these features do you think they're possible do you think they should be added without further ado though thank you guys very much for watching take it easy peace